Oh my guys, the vessel. So, hey, oh my god. If you see if you see one guy as as if they drag um police post, sign post, police sign post. If you see how one guy they drag sign post like say I pass my neighbor. If you see how they drag and like generator, hey it na it, it ha oh nothing where people no go <laughs> no go tea for see how somebody what you want to take is um uh, police sign post <laughs> even a uh, traffic light you know if you watch the videos the protesters in the north some of them they were like they were like uh, losing uh, this thing uh, traffic light uh, the other one was carrying a police sign post what that what what are they going to do with all those? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is African Linus TV. Please hit the red button to subscribe, like, share, and put your comment down on the comment section. Tell us tell us what you think about this video after watching the video. hi guys welcome back to another video this is african lioness tv guys if you are new in this channel welcome hit the red button to subscribe like share and uh, tell us what you think about the video after watching the video please share the video and make it go viral click on the red button to subscribe guys yeah so um this is uh, the sixth the sixth of the protest Nigerian protest. This is Desis. So, and Nigerian youths, the Gen Zs, are not playing. Hey, they say don't play, don't play, don't play. The Gen Zs are not playing. They, they are taking it to another level. All right? So, they are taking it to their doorstep this time. They are not playing. The, the Nigerian youth in the north, Nigerian youth in the southwest, the Nigerian youth in Edo, you know, um, in the southeast, people are not uh, just uh, skeptical. There's just few people um, that are pro protesting in the southeast. So that side is like calm. So then... Um, Many parts of the country, the, the, the protest is still going on. Despite the speech, the presidential speech, which they said is empty, that it did not address what it's supposed to address. So, uh, hence, they are still on the streets, still demanding the things they listed on their papers. Okay? So, um, especially in the north, northern part of Nigeria, the youth are not joking at all they are not playing in fact they went there's one of the videos i watched they went to um castina state uh, to daura um that is the village of the ex uh, president of nigeria former president of nigeria uh, muhammad buhari they went there they lay siege around his home then they lay siege around his area. Then they they went to one of the um, APC's uh, office there. They removed the roof of the <laughs> the roof the roof of APC secretariat there. In fact, you can see in some of the videos that that is trending online. You can see you know they looted they took. A lot of things from the APC secretariat, even the zinc. Some people were carrying. Uh, you can you can spot um, a guy who <laughs> hey who even stole uh, the police billboard. Hey God of mercy, police so to the extent that somebody stole police billboard. What is he going to do with police billboard? <laughs> hey, oh my God, hey. <laughs> The thing don't read though. Hmm. It don't really read. So um, they are not joking. They are not playing. The Gen Zs are not playing. So uh, you know, uh, it's like they everybody is now waking up. They now they have not waking up now. They are awake, really. You know. So 
they are now moving the protest to another level, really. You know, so they now go to uh, uh, the the law the some of the leaders' home. They went to the some of they went to some of the leaders' home. They lay siege. In fact, they even had caused a lot of uh, damages in some of the homes of the leaders. Um, yeah. So um, and this the protest is not uh, the way the way it's going is not yet stopping soon. You know, but we pray that it stops. Uh, but right now, the protest is still on on the cease. Okay, on the sixth of the protest, you know, they said the protest is going to last for 10 days. So this is the day six of the protest. So like um, four days left to go. So let's hope that the government will listen and um, reverse some of the uh, policies they made that are not people friendly. You know, that are not people's friendly. So let's hope that before that 10 days, that the government will, you know, um, yield, okay? Let's hope that they're going to yield. So, um, also, in the north, people we are seeing flying uh, Russian flags, and that did not go well with the Nigerian government, and they, uh, someone, the meeting, they called the emergency meeting with the security men and the army and, the, you know, all of them, so they had meeting and the, the chief of defense staff now came up uh, online and on, on the media and was addressing the, the protesters that they should not flag um, foreign flags in Nigeria, that they will not condone. And uh, anybody that is caught up, that is caught with a, Niger uh, with a foreign flag is going to be you know, prosecuted, you know, so, and uh, also, um, Russian embassy and the uh, Russian, Russian government have denied involvement in the protests going on in Nigeria, okay, because the youth in the north, they were like flying uh, Russian flags all over, everywhere, and some are even producing it, you can see their tailors sewing it just there sharing it with people and they are flying the Russian flag instead of a Nigerian flag. So, uh, but Russian people have denied uh, any involvement in the protest. All right, yes, so they are calling uh, uh, Putin to come for their rescue. That uh, Putin is welcome, Russia is welcome and all that. That is the slogan. You can see the youth in the north, especially. So, and well, for me, I don't really know or understand why they are calling a uh, Russian government to come for their rescue, flying Russian flag and all that. You know. And also, uh, on the on the on the news, you can also see that uh, the the northern youth. They were also calling on the military to take to come and uh, take over. That is better for them to for military to take over than to deal with what they, with what we are dealing with already. So, but military came on air and also gave their statement that they are to support the democracy. They are to support the government. The already seated government. They are here to support them. Okay, so a lot is just going on in Nigeria, and um, I don't know if uh, those uh, people in government are ready to yield and ready to listen and ready to change some of the things that are bringing hardship for Nigerians. You see, so because all these things are because of the hardship, untold hardship people are passing through. So, and uh, again, uh, somewhere in the well, Southwest and on Twitter, some people are laying accusing figure and the APCs too, uh, that oppositions are the ones inciting this uh, problem and uh, the protests and uh, they are pointing accusing finger on certain people, which people, those people are also debunking and uh, 
even the people online are debunking. They said it is hunger that is really the cause of the whole thing. Where you cannot buy what you will eat. So I don't know why somebody will be pointing hand on people that they are the ones inciting the protest. Whereby those people you are talking about, they are all adults and uh, some of them are working, some are not working and it's hard for them, very difficult for them to provide what they eat and despite that you are still, you know, accusing people, somebody that they are, the, they are inciting, they are the people that are inciting the protests, whereby they gave them um, warning, they gave them time, you know, almost one month, uh, you know, gap before the protest okay so um i don't really get that uh so for me i don't think anybody is inciting anybody or anybody is sponsoring the protest this post this protest is organic and these our leaders my own simple advice to them is that they should remember now that those days are gone and the the the, the youth of nowadays eh, is they are different from the use of those, those days, those ones that they will say, oh, keep quiet, they will keep quiet. Stop, they will stop. These ones don't care. This particular youth these days, they, they don't care. You say you won't, you won't quiet them, they say, okay, quiet, quiet me now, oh, quiet now, quiet. I don't have wife, I don't have husband, I don't have children. If you quiet me now, did, you, did, did I lose anything? You know, I will still quiet one day. It's better I cry in front here than to cry inside the house because of hunger. You see? So you can see that it's better the government listen and do the needful than to use high-handed on people. Okay? They are tired. They're telling you people that they are tired. They have been enduring. They say endure, endure. How long are they going to endure? How long are they going to endure? So um, what I'm talking about here is... Um, the government should try to sit and discuss way forward and come up with something better. You, you see, so meeting with the security chiefs and telling them uh, who, if we see who fly flags and all that, that's not the main thing. The main thing is the hunger that is hitting on everybody. That person you are telling that thing now that is having that flag, you have, have that person eating, the person is still hungry, you know. And, they, and a hungry man is an angry man. So let us try to, let the government, let people in government sit and try to, you know, seek for solutions to this problem so that it will be solved once and for all. You guys are dealing with the Gen Z's. You guys are dealing with the Gen Z's. So remember that this particular set of youth, they are different from the previous youth that you people used to know. These ones, their ear is not, no day grand. The yeah, this one there, yeah, no day grant. So you push you know that one at the back of your mind. We feel, you, you know, yeah, know that one at the back of your mind and youth and youth and try to come up with something better than what you used to have. Okay? Uh, so um again, um uh, uh, I saw one of I watched one of the videos on TV where I saw um uh, devil Mahi, yeah, Devil Mahi, saying that uh, he, he that they they had meeting with the Igbos not to protest. Who had he had meeting or who him and who had meeting? Devil Mahi saying that they had meeting with the Igbos not to protest. Where did he had the meeting? Where did the meeting held? Where where was it held? Which place? Which hall? Which state did they have the meeting? that said that the Igbos should not protest. Who said that? That is not true. He is lying. He, he is lying. He's, he's a lie. He did not have any meeting with any Igbo person, not to protest. Nobody had any meeting with anybody. You know, so it was because of the way the, 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 the leadership is going. And, and again, um, if the Igbos join now, they will, they will, bl every blame will come up on them, you know. So they will turn it into that oh, the Igbos are the people that did this, Igbos are the people that did this. For, to, for my own thinking, my own opinion, I don't know about others. So I believe that is why the Igbos did not 
want to participate on the protest. Okay? Yes, because it's at least like 13 will now provoke people to start, you know, dealing with the evil. So maybe they decided to say, okay, you guys, let's watch and see how it goes, you know, because we talk when i say they talk you know talk they still say they talk so it's better you keep quiet and watch but for devil mahi to come and be saying that they discuss with him was who who did he discuss with you know so you know you should know what he's saying i don't think he had any discussion with any Igbo people yeah uh, some of the journalists were arrested so and i don't know uh, why the police should arrest uh, journalists that are doing their work. So they should please release the, the journalists. Whoever they have caught, you know, like all those journalists, leave them alone. Let them do their work. This is their job. They, they went to school. They are trained to do this. This is what they are trained to do. So you don't supposed to arrest the journalists. What did they do? You know, so don't get, don't, don't get the, the, the media, leave them alone, let them speak because you know it is what it is them that are gonna let people know what is going on. So I don't see any reason why they should arrest the journalists. You know, so any journalists that uh, they arrested, they should please re release them. You know, so uh, again, the youth are also begging, they are saying that the government should cut the governance. They should cut the governance. In Nigeria now, you can see that they have like 136 to 137 ministers. You see, all these people are being paid. They are all being paid, you know. So when you have a high, uh, yeah, high uh, cost of uh, maintaining the, leader, uh, the gov gov government, a lot of, uh, you know, money funding the ministers and all that, you can see that all those money we we supposed to be used for something else instead of hiring a, or appointing a lot of ministers like that whereby the government knows that the the country needs uh, help and needs uh, to sponsor a lot of things in the country so if you have a lot of uh, ministers like that that will not uh, also help in the regime so we also learned that uh, during the protest uh, 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 during the protest a local vigilante car ran into the crowd so i don't know if uh, there are people that were injured or not so i don't know about that so but information reaching us that a local vigilante car ran into the crowd okay yeah they said they have also arrested uh, several protesters, especially those people that are flying a foreign flag in the country. And also we are made to know that uh, the Lagos uh, protests have been peaceful. You know, that it has been peaceful. It has been largely peaceful, uh, you know, no destruction of things and all that. So the, the protest is taking a, a, another turn, another turn now, it's taking, it taking another turn, whereby they are taking it to their homes now. You know, they go to all those politicians' home, they went to Wicke's home. In Portacot, they went to Wicke's home, they see, you know, Wicke's home was under siege, but there's a heavy presence of uh, police and army in Wicke's home, you know. So, if not, hey, hmm. saying that the uh, Nigerian police uh, allegedly have paid like 30 people, but what 30, 30, but the, what we are seeing online is uh, 13. You see, 13, oh, but they, they said the reality is 30, 30. They have paid like uh, 30 people already. Okay, so you see, it is because of this pie that is making the protest to grow more stronger. If they did not buy anybody, the protest will go quietly, quietly until the end, to 10 days, and it'll be at least before then, something good will come up.
so they uh so uh they were also pushing the narratives from the uh, southwestern people that uh the north the north are pushing agenda to take over power in fact they are pushing so many agendas if they push this one did not work they push the other one it did not work they push the other one they are just pushing different agendas up and down you know they said that the north are doing this in order to you know take over power because power that left them for just like few months they are not happy about it so they are pushing again to to see if they can take over power again so people are also um, talking about how the government is not really doing well, especially during the Buhari's regime, that when they catch the, all those Boko Haram, they say they are repented, repented Boko Haram. Somebody who is a criminal is always a criminal. How can you get people, somebody that has spied a lot of people in their numbers, and you know, then you say they have repented, and you start using a the state money to fund them and to do all sorts of things for them. Okay, so um, so hunger and hopelessness is really the real uh, the real sponsor of the pro of this protest. Hunger and hopelessness is the real sponsor of the of this uh, protest going on. So uh, Tinubu and his regime should please sit up, have meeting and go through the things the the youth itemize and see how they can tackle it that that the only solution to this problem is not high-handedness discussing with the security men and all that uh, telling them if they, this happened if that happened what are they gonna do so if this happened they're gonna use weapon on people or what uh uh they're gonna use weapon on on armless people and all that so you see that is where you people will fail it. So discussing with security men and all that, if tomorrow they come up and start buying people, huh, you know that that thing will get out of hand. It, where you can, your people cannot control again. You know, so it's better you you find way to dialogue with the with Nigerians, dialogue and check the things they itemize and see how you will attend to it. If you discuss with the security men and they come and they start destroying lives and property, hey, that will not all go well and that will never make people to back uh, back down. You you guys should know that. So it's better the dialogue. I think that dialogue should be the best. G gently, gradually talk to them and talk to pe the w w people that they can listen to. You know, uh, approach them politely and see how they can listen and then you dialogue and at least all those things they listed start doing it what small small start doing it small small start showing the interest of doing it even if it's something that you cannot just do now but show the interest of doing them all right and telling us telling us the ways it can be at tackled it can be tackled so you see they listed all these things and they said these are the reason why we are coming to the streets and there is no way you will come and uh, you know you will not dialogue with them you will not tell them how all those are gonna be taken care of and you expect they're going to go back to their various homes after destruction of over uh, 30 lives uh, you know yeah so it's not it's not i don't think it's, it will be a uh, you know so well i can't tell I cannot, you know, tell, you know, but when you look at it, you will know that it's better you find a way to tackle these things than to use high-handedly, high-handed on them or heavy military presence to tackle the whole issue. Yeah. So, and uh, Umahi, people are, 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 are like complaining that look at Omai. Omai is saying that the Buhari gave the greatest uh, speech. Hey, <laughs> God of mercy. Buhari gave the greatest speech, you know. So, what and what? Let Omai point out all the things that he mentioned now that is great. You know, the things the youth listed. People, somebody that is hungry, telling you I'm hungry. And these are the things you will do. My hunger will, 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 will quench. Hmm? 
Uh -huh. Now you are busy telling the person things that, uh, you know, long term things that, you know. No, now you have to start with those ones they have at hand and start seeing how we can tackle those things. Yeah. So, also, people are saying that Buari has a very large blame on all the things that are going on. It's not really only Tunubu. Uh, you know, fault. It's not only Tinubu's fault, but why people are also uh, talking to Tinubu or uh, blaming Tinubu is because Tinubu said he's going to uh, continue where Buhari stopped, and Buhari, where did he stopped is not a good one. Okay, so everybody saw how Nigeria was before Tin before Buhari take took over. You know, then Buhari just scattered the whole place. You know, Buhari just allegedly scattered the Nigeria and all that left us on this mess like this so and um, now he handed over to his friend Tunubu, and the Tunubu is running the, the country like this and people are saying that no 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 this is not is not favoring the masses so we have to check ourselves and rethink and replan re strategize and see how we can you know do things and it will favor the common man in the community in the society all right, so they said that with Buhari have a major share of, of the blame. He has a major, a large chunk of the blame. So, you know, and uh, that is why it's now affecting his friend uh, Tinubu. Okay, during, because during the Buhari's regime, like dollar was like 700, uh, 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 700, 700 naira, but now during Tinubu's regime dollar is a dollar is a thousand six hundred eh? a thousand six hundred a crate of egg was like a thousand five hundred before but now a thousand uh, five thousand five hundred and 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 so and more you know like indomie was like four four thousand five hundred but now indomie is like ten thousand naira you see so fuel then was during Buhari was one hundred and seventy and people were still crying that time that is too much. Now it's 700 naira per liter. Okay? So you see how everything, uh, why we have hyperinflation. Because everything is not just double. It's just like four, four times or five times the amount before. You see? So that's why there is hyperinflation in the country. Okay? So um, the suggestion here is that if we, we we are able to have the right leaders hmm, we can be able to turn around the the fortune of our country nigeria you know uh, they were also saying that uh, tinubu is patronizing his friend or his brother the oando uh, station that so <clears throat> anybody that is doing what he's or her doing he or she is doing people are watching and they, and they also accusing Tinubu of extreme tribalism and nepotism, more than Buhari self. You know, more than Buhari, people are uh, people are accusing him practicing tribalism and nepotism, and which is not good. Okay, so this is democracy. You have to spread it out to every every section of the country. You know, if you want to do appointments, you spread it out. You don't do lopsidedness. You don't do it to one side, you know, and because the revenue is coming from all the tribes. So if you do it only uh, southwest side, but the money is also coming from the east, coming from the north, coming from the mid, mid, middle belt and all that. So that is why uh, Tinubu should check and uh, re strategize and uh, redo all those policies they did policies they did that is uh, affecting the masses so the earlier the better you know so the earlier the better for my own little advice yeah everything is so high electricity tariff everything is so high you know so they should try to cut the cost of governance that will go a long way to help so people many people are, have condemned that speech they said it's uninspiring the tenable speech is uninspiring okay 
So um, they are saying that the North want to grab uh, power again as they they can't wait for next uh, four years. Hmm. Now, wow. Tinubu's aide said is the Igbos that are pushing the narrative, and now they don't want to protest, participate on the protest. You can give us evidence on how the Igbos are pushing the narrative. Some people uh, in Lagos you, uh, are doing no to protest. People protesting against the protest. <laughs> So they wrote a lot of inscription on their T-shirts and all that. People said they are rented crowds and all that. So I don't know. So those group of people in Lagos, they were saying they say no to protest. But yes, yeah, some of them are still saying that garlic and rice is costly in the market. You see, it's affecting anybody. Even though they, they are pay, maybe they pay them for them to say what they said. They are saying. Uh, but uh, the, the truth is still there, glaring at everybody. Yeah. Okay, so, um, well, uh, we still keep our fingers crossed. Uh, to, this is the cyst, the cyst of the protest. So we still keep our fingers crossed and uh, see how everything is going to be up, up fold, unfold. Guys, if you are watching up till now and you are yet to subscribe, please hit the red button to subscribe, like, share, and uh, put your comment down on the comment section below. Tell us what you think about the video. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. See you soon.